Uh, several videos ago, we had a circuit fun video that described this circuit here, an automatic leveling circuit or audio leveling circuit. Uh, you could also call it an uh, audio compressor or automatic volume control. And the idea was to use this with a scanning receiver to make the receptions have all about the same audio level. Uh, I'll put a link to the video that describes this circuit and makes measurements on it in the description below. But I had a lot of requests to actually hear what this, the results of this sound like. So that's what we're going to do today. So in order to uh, you know, do this, I decided to build the circuit up in a bit more permanent way. And I just used the little island cutter method on a piece of uh, copper clad to build the circuit up in a, a bit more permanent fashion. So the audio input will be here. You may remember from the previous video that that audio input is supposed to essentially be speaker level, like coming out of the radio. And then the output coming out here is a low-level signal that you've got to go back into an amplifier with. So, uh, so that's what we've got. Uh, the power supply for this circuit can be anything from about 5 volts up to 12 volts or so. I just have a little 9-volt battery clip on here, and that'll power it up just fine. When I tested the circuit on the bench, I had just put together a quick little audio amp here using an LM384, uh, but today what I'll use is this little amplified uh, speaker from Radio Shack, just as a, an input here, and I can adjust the volume, and that'll be our, our amplified speaker that will hook to the output of this circuit. Right, before we finish hooking up the circuit and listening to its effect, let's just listen to the radio by itself, uh, and I'll vary the volume level so you will simulate uh, what we're trying to correct for with the circuit. So at the volume, kind of relatively low level here. Let's turn the volume way up on the next transmission here. So here that was so that was a bit louder. Let's turn it back down again for the next transmission. So we can hear the, those volume differences, and, and that's what we're trying to level out. So let's hook the circuit up and see what it sounds like. I've got the circuit all hooked up here, but I wanted to make one quick comment. I decided to change the value of C4, the peak detector capacitor, as I found that uh, changing this to about 2.2 microfarad gave me a better, uh, more pleasing audio response. Uh, the decay time is a little bit slower, and it makes the, uh, uh, the volume very constant and uh, easy to listen to uh, while it's in operation. So without further ado, let's turn the volume up on the scanner and listen to the results of this circuit. So that's at a low volume level, get a nice pleasing volume coming out of the speaker. Let's turn the volume way up here for the next transmissions. So no real change in volume from this very loud level. I just turn that volume way down and again no real change in that volume. So the, the idea here is that when you're using the scanner and you're receiving signals from different sources that might have different modulation levels and different strengths, they're not going to vary in terms of their output volume that you're listening to. So you can set your volume once, adjust the volume on your amplified speaker, and uh, everything will be at the same constant level and won't blow you out of the chair when you get a nice loud signal. Anyway, I sure hope you enjoyed the project. Uh, maybe go build one for yourself. Let me know how it turns out. And thanks again for watching.